everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. We are back with another What Sold video, so we'll get into that shortly. Uh, I want to say first off, I apologize for any shaky camera work. That's just me. I'm uh, just a regular guy trying to take some videos, so I apologize. Hopefully the information will still be good. Also, um, I appreciate you guys watching. I know um, there's a lot of other YouTubers out there, and you guys are still watching me, and I appreciate it, and I hope you guys can pick and choose stuff from my um, video that you might be able to use in your own business. And honestly, if you look at something and you're not um, really in agreement with me, you think it's not worth your time, whatever, I totally understand. Everybody runs their business differently. A lot of you charge shipping, I do free shipping. A lot of questions about that. I'll probably put a video about that here shortly just to explain my reasoning. But honestly, either way will work. So do whatever's best for you. Again, take what you can use. And then um, we're about six weeks, I think, behind on the sales. So I apologize. I've just fallen behind um, this time of year. Christmas is just so busy for me. So um, I was hoping to get them by the end of the year be caught up, but I'm just not going to make it. So I apologize. Uh, but hopefully the information will still be good. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care, guys. Hey everyone, back with the sales update for Monday. Pretty good day to start it off. And I have one more sale that did sell that I'll show you guys next. And we've got like 45 minutes left, so we'll see what happens after that. Uh, first off, this Magic Baby Bullet. It's in the box. Um, I listed it as used, I believe. Um, the lady said she never used it. Everything looks in good shape, but the box is beat up and everything's not sealed. But everything is present. This was 10 bucks, I believe, at a garage sale. And it finally sold for 45 shipped. It's still going to cost probably 14 to 20 bucks to ship it. Um, probably Smart Post or something like that, just based on size. But um, we'll make a little bit of money there. wasn't an amazing deal. wasn't a bad deal, but it took a while to sell. Probably want to get it a little bit cheaper next time. Here's an iPhone 7 black 128 gig phone. This one sold for 10 shipped. That's pretty cool. I think I probably had a buck in that or so. Here's a 3DS. It's like the, I think the pinkish one. This one came with a charger and it sold for 70 shipped. I had paid two bucks for that and I paid, I think, I don't know, three bucks or two bucks for the charger. I bought a bunch of them in bulk. They're aftermarket chargers. So pretty cool. This is from that CD lot I mentioned, I think, in the last video, Dr. Locos. I bought like a bunch of CDs for 80 bucks with some knives, some other stuff. I already sold two in the last video, I think, for. I don't know, maybe like $25 ship so far. This one's sold for $20 ship. Dr. Locos, the Rockin' Jalapeno Band. Uh, that's sold for $20 ship by itself. Here's a Toyota Corolla manual. It's from the big manual off the 87. Took a best offer of $15. This one didn't seem to be work a whole, worth a whole lot. I think I listed it for like $20 and someone offered $15. So I figured we'd get it out of here. Here's a Cars. His name is... What is his name? Drip, maybe? I don't know. Maybe Drip, this little guy. He sold for eight shipped. Um, he'll go first class. We're going to make a couple bucks on him. He was just something I found in a box of toys. Um, usually I'll look up the cars or the Thomases to see if they're worth eight to 12, 15 bucks. And I'll list them that way. Here is a Disneyland Resort 50 years little bag here. It wasn't actually worth a whole lot. I listed it for 20 or best offer. It is used. Uh, took a best offer of 15 shipped. That was a throne with storage unit guy. Like I always say, I just make a big pile. Anything I can make a little bit of money, I'll throw in there. A lot of this little stuff he doesn't value too much, so it's just freebies I throw in, and then I make a couple bucks off it. Lastly, this is like a Nike um, tracksuit. It's a newer one. Um, it's like this red and like whatever this grayish color is. Um, pants and jacket. This one sold for 60 shipped on the best offer. This was also from Storage Unit Guy. This one's been up for the longest time. I had it listed at 100 bucks. I was hoping to get around 74 at 65 or 70. They usually sell for anywhere from 50 to 75. Um, and then this one um, finally got an offer of 60 bucks. And I just said I'll take it to get it out of here. So 60 bucks on that. It's in pretty good shape considering. Um, I think it's a size 2X though. I don't remember. But you maybe you'll see on the screen. So that's it for right now guys. And I'll show you guys at least the other thing that sold on Monday. And then we'll show you what sold on Hey everyone, the final sale from uh, Monday, Harpoon 2 uh, for the Mac. I know, buddy, hold on. This ended up selling for $24.99 ship. It's over a pound. Some of these PC games can still go first class, the big box ones. But some of them have manuals and stuff that are just too heavy. Um, they push them over into the, right about the two pound mark. So this one's going to go, I think like two pounds for like nine bucks or eight bucks or something like that. So not too bad. It's not going too far away. So pay, sold it for $25. We'll make some money. I only paid a everyone we're back with the sales from tuesday pretty good day two really big sales and then a couple of 
kind of your typical bread and butter type stuff. So we'll just jump right in. Um, this is a uh, Nara Leafs, Nara Leafs. It's a shirt I found. It's like, um, it's got some, it depicts like a scene, like there's like little cars and like a tree. And there's like a little huts and stuff like that. Um, it was like three bucks at a thrift store when I was really getting into clothing. You can tell the bag is the old kind I used to use. That's old for 15 shipped on the best offer. I'm just happy to get rid of it. Uh, a couple of video game things. An Uncharted Nathan Drake collection for PS4 sold for 10. Minecraft sold for 15. Still a good game to pick up if you can find it. And then Tack, The Power of Juju sold for like nine shipped. It's funny because people will sell this game for like five or six bucks, but if you list it with a good picture, you can get about eight to ten bucks for it, depending on how the market is. So pretty good there. Those all came out of a recent storage unit buy. I paid like 380 for three PS3s, three 360s, three PS2s, a PS1, a PS1 Slim, Super Nintendo, a 2DS, um, 2DS lights, and a Game Boy Color, and a bunch of other games, controllers, all kinds of stuff. These were the first three things to sell to that lot. So I think we spent three eighty. We'll probably have sales somewhere around a thousand bucks. 1200 bucks something like that so we'll double our money um wasn't a, like amazing buy but it's just easy video game stuff to sell so pretty good there um this um is a logitech little rollerball trackball mouse and they're good to pick up this is a newer model one not worth a ton some of the older ones can be worth great money um but this one didn't work it powered up it could connect to the um computer but the buttons wouldn't work so i just sold it for i sold pieces off it um and i sold this little logitech Focus is going to be horrible, but the Logitech like USB dongle receiver that sold for like eight or nine ship by itself. And then I'm also selling the ball for like 10 ships. So if it doesn't work, you can usually part out certain pieces and make it worth it. I just kept the whole mouse. Uh, that doesn't go there. Whatever that goes in. I kept it so I wouldn't lose the piece because I was afraid I might lose that. So I put it back in here and I kept the whole mouse together while I was selling the parts off it. So pretty good there. Here is a kissing cranes knife. It's kind of their logo. Maybe it'll focus. Gosh. Seems like it's worse on focusing lately, but hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, this was in the big CD lot that I had bought for um, 80 bucks, and um, just sold that one knife used for 20 bucks. They go for like 40 or 38 brand new, so getting 20 bucks was fine. Here's a Tennessee Volunteers um, hat. This one, it's got a little mark underneath there, but I'm um, still in pretty good shape overall. That sold for like 10 shipped on the best offer. This is the newsroom, um, seasons one through three, which I guess is the complete series. That was like 10 bucks at a thrift store, and then I ended up selling it for 39 shipped um, for a pre-owned set, so that was pretty good. That was a good media mail. Here is a black diamond um, harness here. This was two bucks at a garage sale, and ended up selling for 40 shipped. It's extra large. Don't know much about it, but just looked uh, the model up and everything, and that seemed to be the market, so it worked out well. Here's another Kamatsu shot manual, the PC270LC-6LE. Kind of see everything here. Um, this one sold for 140 ships, so we're making a bunch of money on that. Um, for those of you guys who have been following me, you've seen me sell a bunch of these manuals. Um, I'm down to my last two or three left, and I usually get above 100 for these big ones and i paid 90 for all of them i think i'm at like six or seven hundred in sales something like that so really good deal and then lastly this is a coca-cola like vintage looking phone you guys can kind of see that you can see me in there so that's cool just kidding um there's got like some little paper in here i think it's um a pretty cool little phone i guess if you like coca-cola stuff i paid 40 bucks from one of my sources for this um, which i thought was still a pretty good deal um, it's got some wear to the edges and scuffs and stuff, but it does work. The lights turn on and everything. And then I took a best offer of 160 shipped. Um, it's going global shipping, so I just got to get it to the global shipping center. I imagine by the time I pack this thing up and get it going, it's probably going to cost us 30 to 50 bucks to ship it. But that's okay. Um, I just wanted it out of here. I'll still probably make another 40 bucks back a profit, maybe 50. And uh, I knew I was paying up for it when I got it. But sometimes you do that, and if you can double your money, still pretty good. So that's it for right now. I think I have one more thing possibly to show you guys if it gets paid for. If not, um, we'll see what Wednesday brings. Hey, everyone. Final sale from, what is it, Tuesday? This is a PlayStation hey, IR receiver. Yeah, tell me about it, guy. 
That's the little one in the background. This thing sold for like $7.99, something like that. Um, it was just in a big box of video games, so it only took about a week or two to sell. Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're back with the What Sold video. Here's Zane. He's a little yeah, dirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. Let's go into What Sold, buddy. So we got a PS2. This is the fat console. It comes with a controller and the cords. It's sold for $55 shipped. Uh, pretty good deal there. It's usually what I can get for a working fat PS2. No games or anything. Here's a DVD set, The Champions. Um, this ended up selling for 40 shipped. I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. My son's pulling that, so. Uh, 50 cents, and it sold for 40 shipped, going media mail, so a pretty good deal for a DVD set. This is a Polaroid SX70. I sold this one a couple times before. It does open up and looks all cool. You guys will see in the photo. I'm just not going to do it while he's here and with one hand. Um, it's got some nicks and dings. I sold this one for 69 shipped as is. Yeah, say hi. Say hi. No, of course not. Not on video. Um, and then here are some United um, Feature Syndicate Snoopy, or I should say Peanuts, um, cookie cutters. There's four of them. They sold for 20 shipped. I had bought a bag of cookie cutters for 10 bucks, I think. Had tons of them in there, and I basically just grouped them into different lots. This was the first one to sell for 20 I think I listed about like $80 worth of cookie cutters, so hopefully in the long run we'll actually make pretty good money. But it has been slow, but we made all of our money back on this one, and these will go first class. So that's it for today. Actually, no, there's one more sale that happened. I'll show you guys that um, in the next clip. Okay, tell me what's sold, buddy. What's sold right here? Right here? No, the remote didn't sell. Hey, guys, uh, final sale from Wednesday. This is a Vital Wrap, um, like, blue hose. Yeah, it is. You tell me about it. Um, this actually, I bought the Vital Wrap system. It was actually brand new, but um, unfortunately it had some damage, looked like in delivery. So the motor had some damage, a crack in it. So I parted it, I sold the hose, and I've already sold the wrap. And then I have the canister that I'm selling, but it's called the Vital Wrap Vital Wear system or something like that. Um, this sold for 32 ship just for the hose. So I paid five for everything. Okay, say bye bye. Say bye bye. No. Hey everyone, we're back with a sales update for Thursday. It's actually officially Halloween today. So we are um, just dealt our little trunk retreat at our church and had a pretty good day eBay wise, 13 sales. So I'm holding my son. So if the camera works a little bit choppy, I apologize, but we'll start right off. Um, here is some Pioneer little um, six disc multiplay cartridges. Mm -hmm. There are 10 of them. They sold for 57 shipped. Ends up costing me like 10 or 12 to ship them, priority mail usually. Um, but with that said, I spent $20 and I got about 70 of them. So if I can sell each set of 10 for 57 bucks, we'll be in really good shape there. Here is an Ericsson. I don't know really what it does. Some kind of wire. It came with a bunch of other wires and stuff. And they ended up selling. That sold for like 17 shipped. I made a bunch of money on it. I paid 30 bucks for a whole box of stuff. There were these little modules in there. I think I sold three different sets for 150 160 bucks, and then I've sold some wires since then. I still have a bunch left, so hopefully they'll sell. I know nothing about it, so if you want to know a little bit more, I guess Google those numbers there. Pause the video. If not, just look up part numbers, and you can sell stuff. Honda Insight 2000-2003. This is from the big manual buy. Took a best offer of 55 shipped. I think I had it listed at 70 or 75 shipped. Someone offered 55 At this point, if someone comes with a reasonable offer, I'm getting the manuals out of here because we've already made so much money. And the reality is how many people, sorry, are um, buying the 2000-2003 Insight manual. Not probably that many these days. Here is a um, PSP. I'm not going to open it, but it's in here. It comes with the um, charger and the manuals and then this aftermarket case. That sold for 65 shipped. I think I paid 20 for that. Um, either from storage unit guy, not from storage unit guy, from video game guy, which is a guy I used to buy from, but we don't uh, really have a, any more deals set up, but I was buying a bunch of video games and jerseys from him, and I think I paid 20 bucks for this, and then I ended up selling it for 65 It also came with games, but I parted those out. A couple of military items, this is like a military track jacket for the Marines, uh, by New Balance, size medium, that's all for 25 shipped, and then I have this um, kind of desert camo me size medium that sold for 20 shipped, which is about what I get for the uh, the shirts. And then this is a laser tag game kit. I paid 10 bucks for this at a garage sale. The box is beat up, um, but it ended up selling for 40. I sent an offer out to Watchers. It does work. That sold for 40 shipped, but you can see the box is real beat up. 
and it's still probably going to cost 15 to ship it. It's a little bit big. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, but 14, 15, uh, but it's just because of the size. So we'll make some money on there. Not great. I thought it'd, be do, it'd do a little better. A couple of um, video games, San Andreas, GTA for PS3. This always sells really well and quick. Sold for 15 shipped. Uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. This sold for 9 shipped. It took quite a while, though. And then Showdown, Legends of Wrestling for PS2, sold for 12 ships, so pretty good deal there. A Kenwood RC70 remote, this came in a big box, I paid 27 bucks for it, and I already think I sold probably 60 bucks worth, and I have a bunch of stuff left. This little remote was in there, tested out, it works, it sold for 20 shipped. And then we have a DJ Hero, this came off the little, um, I forgot what it's called, it's one like the little... I don't know where you like spin the wheel or whatever. I can't even think of it, but uh, someone will correct me. It's a DJ Hero. This is the dongle for it. Um, you can kind of see. It will focus. Probably won't. Either way, it's there. It'll show up on the screen. That's all for 11 ship. The dongles always do pretty well. Um, we have a 3DS here. Uh, little case. This holds a bunch of whoops, uh, 3DS games and like memory cards and stuff. That's all for 8 ship just by itself. Nothing fancy. And lastly, here is a green Nintendo 64 jungle console but it is beat up it came into the $1,600 lot um i was hoping i'd get a little more i didn't realize how bad the wear really was to it but surprisingly the system actually works very well even though it has damage i took a best offer of 45 shipped was happy to get it out of here for that price and get the money and move on so we'll jump into what sells here later tonight or t hey everyone final sales from uh thursday these Uncle Arthur's Bedtime Stories, there's four in this set. There's actually, I'm missing one. I think there's five in total. There might be more, who knows, but uh, I have two through five. I don't even remember where I got these from, but they sold for 40 shipped for the four of them. They always sell really well if you can get them, so that's what they look like. And this is a Beowulf figure by McFarland Toys. Um, this came from the $1,600 buy. This sold for 22 shipped. It's got some box damage, but still sealed, so 22 shipped on that guy. Hey everyone, we're back with the What Sold video for the weekend. Uh, sales from Friday through Sunday. Pretty good day. There's like 34, 35 sales. A couple things still to show you guys later that um, sold after I left stores, so I'll have to grab those. Um, a lot of smaller stuff, which is easy to ship. Um, not a whole lot of high dollar sales. I think the highest is $100 or something, so we'll take it. But there's some sales that um, were a little bit lower, but the sum of them will be pretty good in the long run. And we're always happy to move stuff, um, clear off some space, make some money, and then hopefully find more stuff to sell. So pretty good. Um, definitely for um, the weekend, cannot complain. We'll jump right in, though, just to get going on things. We got the Atari here. This is the Atari, the wood grain console with games. Came out of the $1,600 buy that I've mentioned before. Sold for $100, shipped on the best offer. Just happy to get rid of it. I pulled out a game or two that were little bit more valuable by themselves the rest were all kind of lower end common games i threw them in there and they sold uh, for 100 bucks going global shipping probably will cost about 20 to ship um, to the global shipping center and then we'll make whatever's left after that so happy to get rid of those also from the 1600 dollars buy is the ps1 console with the controller no games no memory cards it's tested and works it sold for 38 shipped uh, the ps1 still sell not worth a ton um, but some people always say they don't even pick them up uh, they have some issues sometimes the systems have issues usually the open and open little button doesn't work or you need to kind of clean it out and sometimes the the laser won't read the disc but some of them work and if you get them for cheap enough or you buy a lot of stuff and they're in there if you can test them and they work they are worth listing because someone will eventually buy it uh, some individual games don't quote me in the prices because i don't remember everything i'm doing my best whatever you see on the screen that is the accurate sale price so whatever shows there even if i say something else trust the screenshot twist metal for ps3 11 2K14 might be 14 or 15 bucks. Alice is 20. Harry Potter is like 22 or 23, 24. Wii U Cabela's, I was surprised. This one sold for 15 shipped. Pokey Park, I think, is 20 or around that price. Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Color sold for like 13 or 14. Uh, Simpsons sold for 10. Rocky and Bullwinkle for the Super Nintendo sold for 15. Lego Racers 2 for 10. Bloodstone Natural High for 11. Army Men World War Final Front for 12 for the PS1. And then Pokemon X for the 3D, 3DS sold for like 23 ship, 24, something like that. And again, whatever's on the screen, that's what the price was. Here's a Sirius um, radio here. 
This is the SP5. Um, I just got in the bag because I was kind of separating some stuff in my new electronics bin. So I thought the bags would be better than just having everything loose. Um, that ended up selling for like 25 ship just for that piece. I sold it as a replacement unit. I bought a unit. It had all these pieces. I found out if you part certain things out, you actually make more money than selling it together. So that sold for 25 shipped. Here's a Western Digital My Passport. I'm um, not really focusing well. Hopefully you guys can see that. This one um, tested and it works. I think it's a two 500 gig. Yeah, I think it's a 500 gig. Oh, don't quote me. You'll see on the screen. Um, that came in a big lot of electronics and stuff. It was just sitting at the bottom, testing it works, and it sold for 48 shipped. These My Passports by Western Digital, some of them work really, or sell really, really well. So if you can find them at a garage sale, as long as they're like the 300 and up for the space, they can do really well. If you get a terabyte one, they can do awesome. So it's something to look out for. Here's a Genie remote. This is a garage door remote. This was a buck or two, two bucks at a garage sale. Test it out and it does work. Um, hooked it up to my garage just to make sure it works. It does. And then um, basically on this one, it sold for like 30 shipped. Um, even though the new remotes, I was selling a bunch of Genie remotes a while back. You guys probably saw it in the videos. They were selling for like 22 shipped. They were the newer version. Those work on a lot of the old Genie systems still. But people will buy whatever the remote is that they had that broke. Or if they want a duplicate, they'll buy the exact same remote. Even though the newer ones that are cheaper, some of them work. With the system, you can get them for much cheaper. So... If you find the old Genie remote, sometimes people will pick them up because they think that's the only one that's going to work, and you can get a, get a good price. That sold for 30 where I was selling the brand new remotes only for 21 shipped, and they were brand new, so that one's used. Uh, here's a Apsco Midget pencil sharpener, like this yellowish color. Um, that sold for, I don't know, 12 bucks, 15 bucks, somewhere in there, shipped. Um, I think I paid a buck at an estate sale. Some old pencil sharpeners do do well. Um, depends on the color, the model, how old it is, all that. So it's something to look into. Didn't make a whole lot there, and it did take a while to sell. This was from the $1,600 buy as well. It's like a Marvin the Martian ship. I have no idea really what it does. You guys can see it here. Uh, this sold for $25 ship by itself. Um, it was just something in the big lot of toys that was in there. I looked it up. Couldn't find a comp. I said, let's just put it up there for $25. If someone will come and offer $20 or $18, it's basically theirs. Someone paid full price, and we got it out of here. Here is a Jolly Rancher Watermelon Hard Candy Plush. It's a little dirty. You can kind of see there's like a stain here and a couple other things. This was free. We bought a bunch of, um, or we got a bunch of stuff for free from a garage sale. They sent a message on Facebook or a post that said, anything you want is free. Just come pick it up. So we got a bunch of stuff there. Some boots and some shoes and some books, all kinds of stuff. Um, there was a couple of jackets and some sports shirts, things like that. Uh, this was there too, so we just threw it in and then ended up selling for like 18 shipped or something like that just for a plush, so I'm okay with that. You guys probably remember these if you've been watching. If not, go back and watch. These are the Nintendo Game Packs. Bought these from Storage Unit Guy. I got 14 or 15 packs for 150 bucks, and I've been selling them. This one sold for 48 shipped. They've sold like two for 48 or 45 shipped, and the rest were all 50 and up. I'm down to like two or three boxes left, so I'll get those listed. I haven't been listing them all because I don't want to flood the market. I just try to put a couple up there. That way it looks like there's not as many available, and then I've kind of been selling them off that way. So pretty good deal, 48 shift that goes padded flat rate. Here is a Shred Old Timer knife. Um, this one was actually covered in like black. Someone like spray painted it black. Um, so I had to kind of like sand it down to get the black. It was a pain in the butt, but... I did get, you can see this right there, the 150T, I think it says, made in USA. This came in a big storage unit, but I have no idea which one it was, but it sold for 50 shipped. Um, people like old knives, kind of obviously know your stuff, what brands and stuff, but some of them can go for crazy money. Um, here's Elisa Frank, so shout out to Matt, part-time pickers. If you, I'm sure everyone's heard of him by now, but he always finds like Lisa Frank stuff. I know in the pallet stuff, he kept finding that. This is a little Lisa Frank lunchbox. Had it for a while, bought it from a... Someone that had a bunch of um, stuff they were moving and wanted me to, a friend that wanted me to buy some stuff. So I get rid of it. Spent a hundred bucks. Um, I probably made about hundred or probably sold about 180 so far. It wasn't like an amazing deal. Probably I spend a hundred and I'll make a hundred when it's all done, but I was also trying to help them out. This was in that lot. It sold for 30 shipped. It has a little stain on the inside, but it's still pretty cool for an old bag. Had it listed at 40 or best offer. I believe this also came from them. This is a little surprise, kitty surprise pet. There are little baby kitties in there. This one sold for 30 shipped on a best offer. It's a little beat up, has three of the pets. Um, but look out for the surprise pets. Certain cats 
um, and there it can do really well. I sold one set for like 45 or 50 bucks, um, and then this one only sold for 30 but it's a little plush, and it came out of that lot, so I'm okay with that. Here's some military. I think these are shirts. I don't remember. You will see on this. They're either shirts or the pants. They're two sets, same size. They're the navy kind of digital camo. Sold for 40 shipped, 20 bucks a piece, which really isn't that bad. Uh, 40 shipped on those. I'm happy about that. Uh, these are some speed and strength. Like they got like this bowl logo or whatever. Um, like I guess they're like riding boots. Uh, I bought a bunch of boots from one garage sale. Four boots for 30 bucks. They wanted 10 each. I made a counter offer of 30 for four of them. Um, there was these two um, teenage, like older teenage girls. They were selling them for their dad, and they were happy because I guess people hadn't been buying stuff. So I got a good deal. 30 bucks. I sold one pair already for, I think, 50 bucks for a pair of um, Red Wing ones. I got a pair of Doc Martens still, and then I got a pair of... I forgot what the other brand is. Another good brand. Um, but yeah, I should end up getting anywhere from 35 to 50 for each pair. We only spent 30 But these ones sold on a best offer of 40 Happy to get rid of those. Two manuals. This one is actually one I picked up in a recent buy. I spent $900 on this buy from Storage Unit Guy. It's a bunch of decon rat poison stuff you can't buy it really anymore and it sells really well and there was also a bunch of chess pieces and i just threw this thing in the pile i always just grab stuff to sell this one sold for 17 or 16 shipped look out for the haynes manuals and not all of them are that great but the ones that are for trucks and suvs and cars that people still have or use those are the ones that sell the best the other ones will sell but a lot less here's a pontiac fiero this one took a while to sell this came out of the manual a lot but someone ended up paying 18 bucks for this so again it's just a kind of unique car if you can get them for cheap enough, this one, obviously, in the manual lot was 500 bucks, so that just adds to the total. We keep making money on the manuals. It's been probably go down as, like I said, one of my best buys ever, the manual buy, so, so far. Here's a bunch of JVC tapes. These sold for 27 shipped. I think there's 10 of them, so we're getting about 270 each unit. Obviously, it's free shipping, so we'll have to subtract that out. I imagine it's probably going to be about 12 to ship them. That'll leave us with about 15 bucks, so... Tapes have really gone down, I think, in some of the prices. There's just so many listed. So I only pick them up now, usually if they're 50 cents or less, or they're a really special tape. And then um, I try to sell them in lots of 10 like this, and then we can make a little bit of money. So not great, but um, I'm happy to get rid of them. And lastly, these are some Clairol. Sorry about the movement here. Clairol Kindness Deluxe Three-Way Hair Setters. This came from a garage sale. It was fill a box for 5 bucks. So this was thrown in with a bunch of christmas cards and christmas decorations and stuff for the whole box for five bucks and this sold for 40 shipped so it does work and everything i will get this wrapped up it'll probably cost us again 12 to 15 bucks to ship it but there's still plenty of money there to be made so i'm not going to complain about that and that should be all for right now guys hopefully i'll show you guys those other couple things that sold and hopefully you guys are doing well take care Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We're back with a sales update. Hi Different guys. location. Yeah, son, I hear you. We're on my oldest son's bed because we're running out of space. The workbench is covered and my other spot's taken. So we got to do this quick on my lunch break. So I just want to jump right in. So I apologize. Uh, we have a Rajon Rondo um, Finals Celtics jersey. It's got some stains on it too. I paid three bucks at a garage sale. There was one thing in the bottom I thought I could get out. There was I didn't see the other two that were there that were a little bit... Um, Look like they've been washed out. They're kind of more faded out, but they're not coming out. The one did come out that I thought, but the other two will not. It's still sold for like 28 ship, which was a great deal. I was expecting an offer of 18 or 20, but someone paid full price, so that's cool. Here's Luigi's Mansion disc only. This came out of a recent buy from storage unit. It does not work, though, and it has some wear. You can kind of maybe see on the top there. It's got some weird wear on the edge. I don't know if that's what's affecting it, but there's not that much scratching on it. But that, it just wouldn't work in the Wii or the GameCube. So I sold it for parts for like 20-something bucks just for the disc. The higher-end games that have value, people will buy them even if they're broken. I'm guessing they're trying to like see if they can resurface them and make them work. Here is a PS3 guitar. This is um, a, I forgot, a Gibson one or whatever. It does not have the dongle. Um, this was just something I got for like a buck or two with a bunch of other video game stuff. I ended up selling it for 50 shipped without the dongle. I don't recommend the PS3 ones. It took forever for it to sell. And you got to be careful and make sure across the whole listing it says no dongle. Because people will buy it thinking it has a dongle. I've had one return because of that. Honestly, I don't really mess around with them anymore unless they have the dongle. So, still got 50 shipped. The cool thing is you can detach the neck here and make it a little bit easier to ship. And lastly, an Xbox 360. 
This is like the slim model, I think $14.39. Comes with the HDMI and the power cables. That sold for 60 something shit, which is a pretty good price for that unit without a controller or games. So um, I'm not gonna complain about that 63 shift. It'll probably cost 15 to 20, 14, somewhere in there to ship it out um, and we'll make some money. It's a pretty good deal. And I'll show you guys what sold. I guess this will be the end of the video. So I guess you'll see the next video what sold start the week off. Take care.